Francis here from EMT Review and today I'm going to talk about this very interesting kid hauler cargo hauler bike from a brand we're very familiar with Radio Flyer. Radio Flyer, I'm sure our parents grew up with it, you know, those nice red wagons and little tricycles. Well, they have a bike brand and they're focusing a lot on e-bikes and are consumer direct, so giving you good prices. So what we have here is the Radio Flyer L885 cargo bike and it retails uh, starting at only $19.95. So really cool. Uh, First of all, branding is kind of a big deal in the world of e-bikes because it seems to be a land or money grab uh, with foreign companies, Chinese companies that have no presence here in the U.S. and they offer you good deals, but the quality is shoddy and if you need, ever need service and support, good luck. <laughs> Amazon, Amazon bikes, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, it's good to have a brand uh, and, and people that work in the U.S. that can help you if there's any problems, so there's, that's worth a little bit of premium. And $19.95 is very reasonable uh, for, for what you get. And it comes in a base configuration and uh, it doesn't have these, uh, this, this cage and whatnot. But uh, it is $19.95 for the base. And this one is called the back to school edition. Back to school means it comes with those running boards where your kids can sit here on these, on these seats. They can hang on here and you could have a little basket here. So, you know, fairly well equipped to get your kids to get your kids to school skip that traffic angry line of parents trying to drop their kids off to school uh, and let me tell you the greatest thing is there's no bad day unless it's super rainy uh, your kids will always be smiling my my one of my good friends justin he always sends us photos or videos of him taking his kids to school always a party uh, and he's getting a lot of exercise as well and you do need electric assist when you have a cargo bike because these things are like 70 to 100 pounds uh, if you have any kind of hill uh, and in a, in a kid or two very hard to pedal on your own but with electric assist not an issue not an issue really you can work out as much or as little as you need okay so what do we have 1995 uh, i'll talk about the the back to school edition so uh, two cages right here we have a 26 inch fat tire on the rear a 24 on the rear small one and the reason why they put a small one is so you could lower your your cargo and your kids down here so the center of gravity is not so high uh, and they can actually climb up uh, by themselves uh, they sneak in here boom boom uh, really cool and they're just having a party uh, everything is rigid uh, the, the this thing ugh, you know everything is just beefy so i love it um, has lights it has a 500 watt motor uh, somewhere on the rear hub you can't even see it can barely hear it it has a 680 watt hour battery right here integrated you can even put an add-on battery uh, right here so that's an option pretty cool if you have a long way to go or you don't want to charge that often the the tires are they saying flat proof uh, and what that really means nothing is flat proof but they've taken extra protection uh, to make sure thorns or little debris little nails you know can't give you a flat tire because when you have a flat tire uh, especially on the rear if your kids are there that's a bad day you almost need a tow truck to get uh, uh, this bike and your kids home so you don't want flat tires you want protection it doesn't cost you that much anyway three sizes which is pretty cool although they are size kind of big this is a medium and i do feel that the reach is uh, is kind of far you know very very rigid you know when on my first cargo bike when my kids were growing up i got one a trek and uh what i didn't like about it was it was like a noodle you know and when especially when the kids were back there so it was not usable to me so they, i think they learned that this thing has to be a very solid structure because any kind of uh, weight really adds has a lot of leverage on a on a long wheelbase bike uh it has a stabilizer here which is kind of a uh, radio flyer rest to make it easy to keep your your steering wheel centered uh, and it goes to 20 miles an hour five levels of assist uh, you could pedal it without the motor for sure 
uh, at the zero, but you have five levels of assist to adjust to how much you want to work or how steep the hills are. But uh, the last thing I'll say about it before I go to the weaknesses side uh, is that they've really figured something out here, which is uh, a way to carry your kids or your cargo. So this uh, canvas is not just decorational, uh, it's for your cargo. But when your kids are, are riding, uh, they just sneak in here. It, it kind of gives them a uh, kind of a comfort pad. Uh, also keeps their legs, their feet out of the way of the wheels and and the uh, the, uh, the the brakes and derailleur and stuff back there. So really nice protection. But let's say you want to carry a bunch of groceries and uh, you don't want to tie them so much. You what you do is you just put the canvas up. You zip them up. You you, you lock them in. And now you have a big cargo carrying. Uh, kind of bin, so to speak, uh, much bigger than this one. So you can do the best of both worlds. Okay, so weaknesses, before I get to the bottom line, uh, the weaknesses I would say is it has disc brakes, but they're cable. Uh, I would have preferred to see hydraulic, meaning oil, like, just like your car, uh, for more braking power. So not the greatest braking power, but I think in most cases, you're gonna be riding kind of, you know, kind of conservatively, so it's not gonna bother you. If you have steep hills like San Francisco, uh, I would not advise this. Uh, it, it's good to have hydraulic brakes for that situation. Uh, another con I would say is uh, the sizing is, uh, is a little far back. I've, I've, so I, I'm always trying to push this thing forward. Uh, but I do like the adjustability of it. Uh, and the third con is the, the gearing is not so high. So I'm always at my highest gear and I'm only pedaling like 15 or 16. Uh, so I, I would have wished for a little uh, higher gearing uh, to give me the range that this bike allows uh, or is capable of. But I do love the integrated everything, fenders, use it in the rain, use it with, with kids, with picking up groceries and whatnot. Uh, you know, pretty good package, compelling package from Radio Flyer. And I've, let me tell you, I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'll probably give it to uh, a, uh, uh, some friends with, uh, that are parents that have two kids really do this thing justice. All right. Thanks a ton, everybody.